This is the Moog Sub Fatty. My good friend always was telling me to purchase a Moog. And seriously, this is probably my favorite of the three. I purchased this, it was earlier this year. It was like, uh, I wanna say February. I've never really not liked the sound I can get out of it. It has a very warm, but crisp like sound to it. And you can play a lot around with the tones with like the filter knobs. Two oscillators, it has a sub oscillator too, which gives that really like deep, full, low end sound. The, of the three, this, this uh, is the only one that's monophonic. You can only play one note at a time. You can technically dial in a second note, but it would still only be with one key. But like, for example, like, let's say I'm playing a C and then I dial in seven half steps up, that'd be like a fifth. So that would be in a synth, in a synth, in a sense dialing in a G. If I'm playing a C, you're gonna hear a G also. If I play an E, you're gonna hear a B also. But then you can kind of control it. It could be a fifth, it could be any note you want, really. So in a sense, you, you can get two notes out of it. And then with, you know, by hooking up uh, pedals to it also, you know, getting delay and reverb over it, almost as a sense is like smearing it all together. And you, it kind of almost feels like you're, even if you're only playing one note or you're playing like a lead part, it almost seems like it's blending it all together and it almost sound, sounds like you are playing chords. Like I think you were saying when we when we jammed last, uh, last time you were here, that it, you didn't even realize that it was monophonic. Well, I think one thing that was holding me back from purchasing the mode was, you know, they're all pretty expensive, but this, I guess, is a lower end. It's like eight or nine hundred dollars. It's not the cheapest synth you can get, obviously, but compared to some other ones, this is definitely a lower end Moog, I want to say, but it's definitely a, a, such an amazing synth.